Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is our last uh, message in this series in the book of Hebrews. And I'm just uh, really excited that you've partnered all the way through this series together. So we're in chapter 12, uh, verse 14 through 17, and then all of chapter 13. And this is what I would call the practical section of the book of Hebrews where uh, rubber meets the road, so to speak, where we learn how to walk out our faith in practical ways. And one of the things I mentioned again this Sunday and I did last week, is just the importance of the Holy Spirit in our life that we, since we live by the Spirit, it says in Galatians 5, 25, since this all started because of a miracle God did in our life when Jesus came in, since we live by the Spirit, let us learn how to stay in step with the Spirit. And I love that it's a relationship with the person of the Holy Spirit, but I also need practical guidelines. So when I'm getting uh, off base a little bit, uh, when, I'm, when I'm getting out of line maybe a little bit, I have scriptures that remind me of what I need to do or how I need to think or decisions I need to make. And I, I really believe that uh, Hebrews 12 and 13 uh, help us do that. Just lots of practical instruction. So in the sermon, I just talked about a couple of things. I, I talked about learning to love one another from the heart. And I'll just be honest with you. I, I, I've been through a lot with people for the last 40 some years in ministry. And I, I've got to learn how to love different kinds of people, even when I, I felt like they tried to use me, take advantage of me. Some have betrayed me, made promises they didn't keep. Just been a lot of things. I also had to learn to love my wife, which isn't as easy as we think sometimes. And uh, learning to pray, asking God to forgive them, asking God to help them and bless them was a huge help to me uh, throughout my journey of faith. And so I just want to encourage you as you think about learning to love one another from the heart, uh, I really believe that pr prayer is a great help there. And I'd love to hear, I'd love you to share some of your stories that you've been through in your life. And how can I love that person? And how can I forgive that person and care for that person? Uh, so we talked about sexual morality and immorality. And you know, I think God loves us a lot and he cares a lot about our sexual needs. Uh, you know, he made us sexual beings. And so uh, in your group, if you feel comfortable, uh, it'd be great if you could just talk about challenges and what you believe about uh, how God has defined sexuality in the Bible. Uh, there are a lot of other things. He talks about the love of money and uh, whether we like it or not, we're all a little greedy when it comes to our money. It's hard to let go of it. It's hard to give it. So that's a good conversation. And, and then there's uh, the importance of leadership in chapter 13. He, he, he talks about leaders that God has given to help uh, lead us and guide us, uh, train us, teach us. And uh, one of the things he admonishes the people uh, in the book of Hebrews with is, is to don't follow after new teachings. And he makes a great statement. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. And, you know, that's one of the scriptures that our church denomination, Foursquare, is built upon that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. For us in Foursquare, we refer to it as Jesus as Savior, Jesus as Baptizer with the Holy Spirit, Jesus as Healer of our diseases, and Jesus as Soon Coming King. I guess you could see uh, our faith is all about Jesus and uh, who He is. And I really believe that knowing Jesus will help us discover what God has said, Old Testament and New Testament. It's all fulfilled in the person of Jesus. That's what this study has been all about. And if we hold fast to him and be careful not to be swayed by new teachings or new ideas or the latest, greatest thing that comes into the church during different seasons in our history. I can't tell you how many of those I've been through in 40 years of ministry, but holding fast to Jesus is what has made my walk with the Lord well worth living. And I know that will be true for you. So have a great conversation. Thanks for joining us and uh, pray for blessing on your gathering. And Jesus, I do that tonight or today. We need the help of the Holy Spirit and we need you, uh, Holy Spirit, to illuminate your word. So I pray that right now, Lord, as we read the word and talk about these things uh, this week, Lord, illuminate it in our heart and mind. Help us see things maybe we didn't see before. 
help apply it to our life in ways that maybe we've never applied it before. Thank you for instructing and teaching us in the way we should go, counseling us with your eye upon us. Lord, we really do love uh, you, walking with you, and we love our friends in this group. Blessing on each one, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.